When you start the Dream Draper system, you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. Now, before I start designing, what I usually do is I like to close some of these windows just to give me some more room to design on. So, for example, on the lower left corner, you see your portfolio window, and we'll describe what that is in a later lesson. But in order to close this box, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this middle icon here. It looks like a little push pin. So I'm going to click on my push pin and stick that box right over onto the left side. If you can see on the left side is my portfolio box. It's stuck to the side. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing to my swatch library. I want to kind of move that out of the way because I don't need it right now. And I am again going to click on this middle icon, which is my push pin. I'm going to click on it, and I just stuck my swatch library over to the left. You can see it right there, my swatch library and my portfolio. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the two boxes on the right, my layers box. And way on the right, you can see that little push pin. I'm going to click on the push pin again. And I'm going to stick my layers box to the right side of my screen. There. And I'm going to do the same thing now with my properties box. And we'll explain all of these in a later lesson. But I will click on the push pin. And there, I stuck both of my boxes to the right. Now that I've pinned my windows or my boxes to my toolbar, either on the left side or the right side, in order to reveal them, all I have to do is click on one of those tabs. So for example, here on the left side, if I want to reveal the contents of my swatch library, I'll just click on the swatch library tab, and you can see the contents of the swatch library here. Now, in order to pin it back to my toolbar, I can just click on that push pin. Or if you accidentally click on the X and close the window, you see that the swatch tab is no longer there. Uh, that's no problem because you can always get it back. Just click on your Windows command at the top here. Click on Windows and click on Show Hide Windows. And a menu will appear and you can click on your swatch library selection. And I'm going to do that right now and then you will see the swatch library reappear on the left side of my screen. There! You can see on the left is my swatch library. Now you're ready to start designing. The big white space that you're looking at is what we call the canvas, and you will be dragging your designs right on top of the canvas. Now, depending on the type of computer that you use, whether it's um, a laptop or a desktop, and depending on how you have your screen resolution set, your canvas area may appear to be larger or smaller, but that's no problem. Just use your zoom commands here at the top of your screen. They look like magnifying glasses. Use your zoom commands to either see more or less of the canvas. If you want to see um, more of the canvas, then zoom out. The zoom out gives you more of a bird's eye view, and you can see more of your entire canvas space. If you want to do close-up work, just do zoom in. Zoom in will not change the size of your design. It will just give you a close-up view of whatever it is that you're working on. Now I'm going to zoom out on my canvas so that I can see my boundary box here. This box is just a guideline. It, it's telling me that anything that I have located within the box is going to print. I can have design elements outside of the box, but I just know that when I go to print, whatever is outside the box won't print. Anything that is inside the box will print. And one more thing in this particular lesson, up here is the name of our canvas. In this case, it's untitled. 
but what you can do is double click on it and you can type in the name of that canvas and in this case it might be the Smith Living Room Proposal and hit your enter key and you've just named your canvas. Your file can have multiple canvases in it and you just click on the icon here where it says new and you will create a new canvas. Uh, notice this one also is called Untitled and you might call it Smith Dining Room Proposal. Now just one final thing about our canvas area. If you note, on the top of the canvas and along the left you'll see our rulers. They are marked in inches and in the upper left corner of our box, our boundary box, is where zero starts. So zero will start from left to right by the top left corner of the box and um, top down. Uh, from that same corner. Okay, we are now ready to start designing and we're ready for the next lesson.